Now, you probably know that matter comes in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. In the form of water, the solid is ice. Put heat into it, it melts into water. Heat that again, it becomes steam. But let's see why. If you take ice, the water molecules are actually trapped into a lattice. It's a state of low energy. If you put energy in in the form of heat, those molecules vibrate, shake free from each other, that's free-flowing water, more heat, more energy, they float away into the air and they become steam or a gas. So the more energy you put in, the less the structure. Well, you can try that in reverse. It's a very funny experiment. Get a balloon and put it under one of your fingers. I have to use my little finger here, but your fingers may be smaller than mine. You might be able to work with uh, a middle finger or something. But put your finger into the neck of the balloon. Then you do this. You pull it hard and you'll feel it's really quite hot. The surprise comes when you let it go. Instead of being hot, it is quite definitely cold on the finger. What's going on there? Once again, it's the state of matter. You see, rubber, when it's in its normal state, is full of very tangly fibres. They're a bit like the molecules of water. They have little association with each other. When you stretch it suddenly, bang, they're stretched out in parallel. And they become really rather like a rubber crystal, a bit like ice. And to do that, you have to take heat from the system. Where does it go? It goes into your finger and makes the finger feel hot. Well, when you let it go, all those bonds are broken. All the parallel fibres do that. It's a bit like melting the rubber crystal. And we know what happens when you melt ice. It takes heat out of the surroundings. In this case, it takes it out of your finger so the finger feels cold. So there you are, changing state just with a rubber balloon. If you don't believe me, try the rubber refrigerator yourself.